What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a very, very good tech news day for you all about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and couple of questions. So let's dive in to the big news of the day about the Galaxy Z Fold 4. First, let's talk about the design. They've really seemingly thinned things out on this. We've heard about that. And it's going to look a little bit more sleeker too. And you can tell that by this case comparison, Z Fold 3 versus the Z Fold 4. And you can see a slightly wider aspect ratio. So let's check this out. This tweet's coming from uh, Ice Universe showing off the Fold 3 on the left and the Fold 4 on the right. When we zoom into the photo, couple of things you can take hold of. Now, obviously seeing these uh, front displays of each one, you can see, or at least it's see, you can, you can tell, it is a little bit wider on the Z Fold 4, which is gonna be a very welcome addition rather than just having a really tall and skinny display. Now it'll be a little bit shorter, but a little bit fatter as well. And who doesn't like to be a little bit fatter? That's always more fun than being super skinny, isn't it? Um, it means you can eat more food. Um, and then also when I look at the back panels, it seems like where the camera cut of those, it does, that also looks like a little bit chunkier on the Z Fold 4. The other big difference I noticed is smack dab in the middle of the phone, you can see like when you'd close that up, the bezels have been greatly reduced as well. And the hinge is, is seemingly much smaller as well. So some nice improvements coming on to the overall design of the Z Fold 4 versus the Z Fold 3. Next up, we're getting with 100% accuracy or as what he's saying, 100% accuracy from Ice Universe again of the actual specs of what to expect for the Z Fold 4. So let's just dive into this. I'll put it on. I'm going to move over just a little bit and I'll have it right here for you guys. So there you guys go. 100% accurate is saying about the Z Fold 4. He's saying that it will have a 7.6 inch QXGA plus AMOLED 120 hertz display. So it'll have another 2K plus resolution 120 hertz display. The outside display will be 6.2 inches and that's down from, I think it was 6.23 on this one, on the Z Fold 3, uh, with HD plus resolution and 120 hertz. So it's still gonna be basically 720 plus resolution on there, 120 hertz, kind of a disappointment there. Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1, which is gonna be their latest and greatest processor from the folks over at Qualcomm. 12 gigabytes of RAM, which matches what you get with the Z Fold 3. Z Fold 2, I believe as well, right? Uh, 256 and 512 gigs of storage. Again, same as what you can get with the Z Fold 3. Rear cameras will be a 50 megapixel main, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel, uh, 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 not periscope, telescope, telescope? I'm, think, I'm forgetting the name, with a 3X uh, optical zoom. Inner camera will be again, and that's the camera that sits underneath the display, will be a four megapixel under display camera. So you won't see probably amazing photos again. Hopefully it'll be a slightly better clarity because I'm hoping it's gonna be the second generation of this technology, but still fairly low resolution. The outer camera, the one on this display, will be a 10 megapixel, which I believe again is the same. Android 12 out of the box, One UI 4.1.1 out of the box, which will be the latest version of One UI 1. .1, UI 1. Uh, also 4,400 milliamp battery and 25 watt charging so what are the takeaways from this well if you just looked at this on paper and you were and, and you didn't know anything about the phone you'd be like you know what everything is seemingly the same z fold 3 versus the z fold 4 spec wise i mean pretty damn much i mean the camera is a little bit different the processors are a little bit newer the displays are close enough that if you didn't ha if you didn't know what they're going to look like physically you would think they're exactly the same so on paper, not a very impressive upgrade, I have to admit. And it's kind of what I've been expecting. I'm still gonna get it. Um, I love the phone. I, and for me, them updating the camera a little bit better, especially the main camera on the back here, and then also um, giving me a slightly fatter display on the outside. So those are two big reasons I would want to upgrade because I think that's a reason for that. But I mean, I think if you have the Z Fold 3 and you don't, taking pictures isn't the ultimate most important thing you ever do or you're happy with the cameras then don't even upgrade you know my phone's buzzing off the hook um so otherwise what do you guys think i want to know what you guys think to me it's not a big update on paper but it, it is personally enough for me when i think about the whole package a reason to upgrade 
So I'll leave that question to you guys. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beam. First question comes from Original Assplay saying, uh, Ice Universe just tweeted about the Z Fold 4, which we just talked about, and said that the under display camera will remain four megapixels. How do you think something will implement, how do you think Samsung will implement this in their marketing? It's probably the same way they did before. They'll just say it's an under display camera. I don't think they're gonna go into depth and say it's an amazing for, I think the two points they'll point out is that, again, it's an under display camera, which you potentially can't see or can even see, can see even less than you could in the Z Fold 3. The other part of that is I think they'll say it's a second generation part. But other than that, I don't think they're gonna really say you can get amazing, amazing photos from it. Steve asked, updated my Watch 4 Classic with Google Assist. Now it has disconnected from my phone. I think I'll have to reset the watch and start from scratch again yeah i would if you're having disconnection issues without a doubt reset it it should be backed up to the cloud or to the phone um and at that point it shouldn't it should be a pretty easy transition and our last question from romanoff saying um he's saying hello in creole uh so thank you uh how would you feel if the leaks weren't accurate and the z fold 4 specs are better than you thought i'd be very happy i mean the specs, I think, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, are they good? They're definitely good. Are they amazing? And are they groundbreaking versus the Z Fold 3? No, but I think they're enough for basically everybody at that point. Thank you so much. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and we'll see you down the road.